Morning guys, how are you doing today? It is a beautiful day in Michigan. Both today and yesterday. And we are receiving a semi load of inventory or just a pro some product. So it's a semi way out there. It's the yellow one, kind of looks like a school bus, but it's a semi or a Chiquita banana, whatever floats your boat. See what I did there, bananas, boats, they don't go to, anyway. Okay. <laughs> So let's get in the truck, let's go down there. I'm gonna show you guys the surprise we're getting today. It's pretty cool. Hey man, how you doing? You know? Let's talk about it later. It sounds like a vacuum cleaner, doesn't it? What? Bro, what are you talking about, man? All right, we're gonna go unbox some of this stuff. Let's go, come on. So I moved houses recently, and this garage door is by far the fastest garage door that has ever opened in humankind. <laughs> it takes forever, bro. That's what she said. <laughs> oh, oh, all right, let's start getting the stuff off the truck. Let's open these boxes. A bunch of stuff from a place called s and Candy and Toy. It's just these really cool little mixes and they're for our uh, mini crane. High School Musical Sweatband? Sweet! Gotta bump some of that later for sure. If anyone will get offended, call me. Come on now, doll. So I opened that one box and dumped it all into this one right here. What I'm doing is I'm kind of sorting them out between bins. So anything that's in a package like this or a box, I'm throwing in one bin. Uh, anything that's like anonymous that I don't know really what to do with it, this bin. Uh, anything like a donut or it's like a squishy goes into this bin along with like the squishy light bulbs, the balls that are squishy. There's like a first aid kit that's squishy. Uh, thing that you can fiddle with, like poppets, or like these things, go into here. And any Rubik's cubes or animals, because we got a ton of these Rubik's cubes for whatever reason. I'm going in that last bin, so I'm just gonna stand here and sort these out for a little bit. You know, Jim Hortons has a Reese Cup cookie. It slaps. We stopped to grab some coffee. It's 6.16 in the afternoon, but we literally are just now really starting to work. Like, it might have looked like we started working in this whole video, but we haven't made any money. That's a problem. So, we've done stuff, but we haven't picked up any cash. So, next time you see us, we'll be picking up some money in the store. <laughs> Just like the last store in the last video, people leave their trash all over the place. So we're gonna start picking up some trash. That's usually what we do. Get rid of any trash. That's like the big thing. So this store is less sophisticated as the other one. And so we've literally had people gone right through the glass on these machines. So we have locks that are on the glass that hold in a bulletproof like plexi shield. Uh, it's unfortunate that we got to do this here, but we've literally had so many problems where people just come, they'll throw a rock or a brick or just punch right through the glass and steal the money. Ah! You look at that, what, what time is that, Matt? What time is it, do you see that? What time? 7.12. 7.12, you were incorrect. Sir, it's not 7.12. It's money time, all right? That's what time it is, it's money time. May Rose gonna start going way on. Yeah, uh, round round by myself, mm. be fine by myself. Mm. I don't need no one help, mm. I don't need no one else. Mm. Build it by myself, mm. bourbon from top shelf. Yeah, I don't need no Me and Matt just had a really good conversation. We have been at the store for like two hours. It should only take us like 40 minutes to service it, but there's two ways of looking at a situation, right? And it, there's people playing here right now, spending money, and so it takes us longer to service it because we're walking around people, uh, trying to walk around machines that are being serviced. Can't service this one because it's getting played. You get the you get the point. Well, 
I'm making money, the machines are making money, and it's gonna take me a little bit longer, and it's a blessing, or you can get upset about it, and I don't know, everything has two perspectives. So like next time you get upset, maybe look at all sides of the circle versus just one side of the triangle, if that makes any sense. So we're here at a BP gas station. I have a couple machines in here. It's, I, I think I might've filmed here once a long time ago, but there's two coin pushers here. So we'll go check them out, see how much money they made. It's been about three or four days. So we're not gonna collect any money. We're just here to clean them, set them back up. All right guys, so we got some good news. That red light right there is on, as you can see. That means the change machine is empty and the cash box is full. So let's open it up. Not necessarily full, but there's a definitely a nice little stack of cash in there. So we, we're actually not collecting cash today, so I'll just put this back in the box. But the machine is empty, as you can see. There's no quarters in this bucket. So we're gonna get that filled up, and I gotta get these filled up and rearranged because it's like a little skimpy on money. Oh, bop, bada bop, boom, pow. Oh! now at Ann Arbor. It's about 11 at night, almost is coming up on 11, and we put a brand new 60 inch machine in here. There used to be a big 60 by 60, so it used to be 60 inches deep, 60 inches wide, and we replaced it with a little bit smaller machine, so it's uh, 32 inches deep and 60 inches wide, and it's crazy because it really opened up the spot, and there's a ton more room in here. We put a really big claw on it, and we put the same size stuffed animals in there. It looks kind of funny, but we're gonna open it up and actually let's see how much money it made compared to what the other one makes. So we'll open it up, see how much money it made in three days. Oh, wow. Holy cow. That's actually like decent. Let's open, I, I wanna see how that compares with the machine next to it. I would say there's at least a hundred bucks there for sure. Oh my God. Dude, this one did way more. Holy cow. Dude, the SpongeBob one was cranking this week. Holy cow, but still, nonetheless, like, that's that's a good amount. Let's check the dollar bill acceptor. Yeah, that's pretty decent for three days. It's actually funny, because I think this actually makes more than the 60 by 60, the one that was here, which is actually, like, really surprising, because I would think the 60 by 60 would make more. You notice all these machines over here have claw kicker banners on them. We're gonna be getting a big claw kicker banner for this one for the 60 inch machine. It'll be nice, it'll flow better with the other machines so they're all branded the same. Frank Bentley. Let's go. Yeah, make it look, make it look, make it look easy. Hey, stand up guy, boom, 10 toes. Big body pull up in a Range Rover. I could change the whole game when I say so. I pull up, shut it down, yeah, they know. Running this game ain't a thing for me. I never switched up, no change in me. The only thing changing this season so this is the machine that I'm going to be filling with the ducks. The, the play field's really high, but we are going to fill it with ducks no matter what because the claw is so small on there, it should still be able to grab them. So we're going to fill it up with ducks, take out what's already in there and put it in this little crane over here uh, that already has small plush in it, and we will uh, see what it looks like. So let's start doing that. Last one. Start over. 
All right, guys, that is the end of this video. We got some new inventory in for the machines, which is really cool. I'm excited to see the numbers that this new inventory is gonna pull for our mini cranes. I actually have some new machines coming in, I think, next week, so we'll make sure we make a video about that. We went out, got some servicing done, nothing too crazy, just uh, continuing to show you guys what I usually do on my day-to-day -day basis. The next video, we're actually going out to an arcade and filming a normal arcade video, so stay tuned for that. I don't wanna give any information away on it, but next video, we're gonna be like a normal claw kicker video back from like 2018. It's gonna be pretty sweet. So I'll see you guys in the next couple days for the third upload. This is the second upload we've done in a row. So we're trying to stick to two to three a week. Thank you guys so much for watching. We'll see you guys next time. That is sweet. It's for the, the what do you call it? The people that are crippled or whatever. That is dope.